All right, today we're gonna to be working on this gun box slash rod locker. I've never built a rod locker before, nor have I built a gun box. So I'm probably gonna be doing some stuff wrong in case you are an experienced rod locker or gun box builder. I am doing what's gonna work best for me and what is relatively easy for someone, you know, that's just wanting to add a little something to their boat without, you know, breaking the bank i mean you can go buy these things but they're not custom fit for your boat and if they are you're going to spend an arm and a leg on it now what i'm going to do as far as the rod locker part is basically i'm using golf tubes i have a piece of one right here i did this in the orange boat that i built last year and basically these are tubes that go in a golf bag for golf clubs i don't i've never played golf in my life but they're an inch and a half and they are fairly thin and they're black so a lot of people use pvc but i feel like these work really well because they're a little bit more flexible and if you spray pvc a color or if you're painting them black it's going to flake off eventually and so you don't have to worry about it with these and basically what i'm doing is i'm going to drill holes through the seat all the way through the middle seat and partial way through the back seat the back seat the butt of the rod will go in here and the front of course your rod tip will go all the way through i uh, probably have to extend these a little bit i'm only doing two because i'm putting a lid on this i want the gun box to be flush with the seats when it's closed so i'm kind of having to drop everything down it's a little compressed and i didn't want to overcrowd it so i'm just doing two and i was also thinking your gun barrel could probably fit in this if you wanted to because uh, it is going to be a little tight it's only like four foot uh, for this gun box but anyways the first thing we're going to do is drill those holes out for the golf tubes and what i've already done is i got a piece of cardboard and I used a T-bevel, if you're wanting to be correct about it. We call them angle finders. I got the angle from the floor of the boat to the side of the boat and marked it, cut it out, and then went ahead and laid them golf tubes up there, kind of marked them out, found center, and punched the hole out. So now what I can do is lay this down there, mark my two center holes with a Sharpie, and then drill it out. And what I'm doing to drill it out is I got this extension and a one and a half inch hole saw. This extension allows me to get all the way through the seat. Like I said, this middle seat, we wanna drill completely through it and should be some foam on the inside that we're gonna drill through too. I was worried about that with the orange boat, but it went right through it. I don't know, I'm hoping this one is gonna be the same way, but we might have to like drill a little bit, stop, dig foam out, drill some more and so on until we get all the way through. Like I said on the back, I'll use this same template. I'll just flip it around the other side and do the exact same thing, but I'm not drilling all the way through, probably just halfway, maybe. I don't know, I'll probably look at one of my rods, the longest rod butt I have from the reel to the rod and just do it that far. It's just gonna be some place where you push your rod tip through and then sit it in the back. Nothing super secure, but you know, as far as going down the road, this should be fine. Nothing else is a good place. You know, you can put a couple rods in here if you're staying overnight somewhere and be able to lock it. Because I plan on putting a lock on the lid, which lid is going to be a, a hang up for me because I got to figure out how to do that. But right now, let's go ahead and drill these holes. So there's no foam on this end of the seat. You kind of see where I was hitting it right there 
on the very edge of it on that bottom hole but uh the foam obviously stops right in here somewhere what i ended up doing is just taking the template on this side and marking my holes here and drilling them out that way because i was scared because i didn't have anything to guide me i was scared that it was going to get way off so that uh that worked <laughs> so all right let's uh do this one the back of the boat has a different angle to it on that seat and i've already put it on this just need to cut it out lay it up there and drill those out now our golf tubes should be able to slide in here This end over here has got a little bit, the styrofoam's a little bit further over to this side. So I might have to jack around with it a little bit to get this bottom piece in. But, we're gonna be all right. All right, let's uh, clean up this mess y'all made. I actually do not have my golf tubes yet. I ordered them from Amazon. I think they're supposed to show up today. But the main thing I wanted to do is get these holes drilled out first. So when they come in, I can go ahead and throw them in. It won't be that big of a problem. I mean, the only main issue that I'll have left with doing those is there, I'm going to have them exited out through here. And I'm going to try to cover them up somehow with some kind of plate right here. I'm not going to get too extravagant about it, but I'm just try to build something off this front seat to this rib right here to cover up the two tubes that's coming out. But uh, now what we can go ahead and do is start working on this gun box, framing it out. Um, I don't have all my metal yet, but uh, it's on the way too. But I have the metal to frame it up, I believe. So I've already marked everything, I believe. I went ahead and dropped it down a little bit. So the lid, when it's closed, will be pretty flush with these seats. And that's where I got that line. So I've got this line right here, which is gonna be the actual bottom of the frame because I'm gonna build it up like this for the seat to have something to rest against, if that makes any sense. If it doesn't, it, it probably doesn't. It probably, it probably won't work out. I don't know what I'm doing. But anyhow, it's just gonna use angle. I think this is one by one and Build it up like this, of course, a piece all the way across the floor, like that. And then build it up, and then across, the same way over here, and then I'll have one piece going across the very top, hopefully. Not exactly sure how to tie it together. Probably want to get a little custom on that, but we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. So let's go ahead and do what I think I know what I'm doing, and we'll get to what I don't know what I'm doing later.
All right, it's a brand new day. Uh, kind of nasty one, but anyways, yesterday, uh, pretty much the end of the video was pretty much where I stopped. I didn't have time to put these on. Actually, my drill battery went dead on me too, but I went ahead and cut both of these, and then I cut this little filler strip right here and that was all I did yesterday. And so far this morning, I went ahead and attached these front two and the filler strip. And I don't know if you can see up under here or not, but I put some little scrap pieces of angle, attached them to the bottom piece of this with uh, the countersink rivets, and then riveted this little filler piece to it. But I'm still about an eighth inch low right here, so I'm about to go in with something else later on. Not exactly sure what. Um, I know it's got a gap in it, but I think I'm going to put a piece of the hydro turf to fill that up, and that should be fine. Uh, so today, all I got left, uh, really after I put this top piece on, man, this thing is, is really stout. I'm actually kind of impressed, but I think I will go ahead and put like a piece of flat right here just riveted just to kind of strengthen it up in case anybody ever steps on it. i mean it's not exactly a step but just in case i actually might go ahead and just throw two in there because it'll be easy but what i want to do first is these tubes they came in i think they're three foot long and the cool thing about them is they have like this little flare to the end so we'll be able to Put those in there and see if I got some black silicone and kind of run a bead. I'll run a bead around this, shove them through. They should be secure. So let's go ahead and do that now and then kind of figure out what to do on this back real quick so we can have it done too. That way that's done before we get to messing with this lid and the front part of this gun box. I got those in. These tubes came three to a pack and I used that one long piece that I had left over for that and I kind of flared the bottom using like a bottle and a heat gun. It's, it looks pretty ugly, but that's why I got it on the bottom. And then I used the third one up here and just cut it to size. I didn't have any black silicone or at least I couldn't find it and just run a bead around it. And like I said, up here, I'm going to try to build something out. Like I said, that bulkhead is going to come somewhere over here which i might end up having to cut these off to frame up my bulkhead but i'm going to let them let that silicone kind of cure first so should be fine and i also went ahead and put a brace in the middle of this i just used a piece of angle i had sitting around to make it a little extra stout i think one in the middle should be fine so now this lid i said in the opening part of the video uh, this lid might cause me trouble uh i could attempt to build it myself it's not going to be very pretty uh, in case you haven't noticed this is not a waterproof gun box i'm not building it to be waterproof obviously you know putting a lid on it will kind of keep water out of it but it's not somewhere you want to just put your guns out of the weather so i want to go ahead and point that out before somebody tries to pointed out to me so i know i already know uh man i really don't know what to do about the lid i have a sign that is the right length actually i could use the sign for the front part and the lid i didn't get enough of this angle this is one inch angle which i'm completely out of now i stopped by lowe's this morning and they had some three quarter eighth inch and i got enough of it so i'm going to attempt to build a frame out of aluminum and weld it together um, i've never welded aluminum before i'm set up to do it i got a titanium 170 mig hooked up to 100 percent argon and a spool gun so um, i'm going to attempt to do it and cut the corners on 45s and tack it together and then put the sign on top and i haven't decided if i'm going to rivet the top or go ahead and try to tack weld it. I'm not 100% sure. 
I know I'm not going to weld it completely solid because that would be way too much welding. I'll end up warping it to crap and then I'll end up having to go get a piece of aluminum or something. But if this don't work, I'm going to have to order a lid for it, I suppose. But I'm trying my best not to do that. Let's go ahead and see, see what we can't tear up. All right, now, when it comes to steel, I'm only about a C-plus welder. So, welding this aluminum for the first time, we just gonna give myself an E for effort. But we got it done, and it's gonna be covered up anyways. And if I do, well, whatever, however I end up attaching this top piece, I mean, it's gonna secure <laughs> this thing anyways. So, I definitely, need to practice on that thing a lot more with aluminum that was a uh, an experience to say the least but like i said we got it done it's square it's fitting good now we can go ahead and cut out the top and the front panel So I didn't film this, but I went ahead and put this thing on here yesterday and kept messing around with it. And to get it flush to right here, I ended up having to take this piece of angle off right here because it was just putting everything in a bind because it was pushed up so far. So in hindsight, I could have made my lid a little bit wider and it probably would have worked out. But... Uh, that's what I ended up with, which, you know, like I said, this isn't going to be a waterproof box. I said that earlier, and that's fine. I mean, if I wanted to, I could run like a little piece of weather strip kind of around it and try to help keep some water out. But, I mean, I, I, when I built this thing, I had it in mind that it wasn't going to be a waterproof box. I also, I had this just laying around. This is a... Uh, I can't remember, I think two inch stainless steel. And I, I was just in a hurry and I threw it on here, but I'm going to order a longer one. That way it'll keep everything more rigid and solid. But I went ahead and put it on yesterday just so I could make sure the mechanics, everything's working. So that will be at a later date. And also the latch, I'm gonna have to order a locking latch for it. I've been looking at them on Amazon. I had to get the measurements for it before I could order it, make sure I, I was getting the right one. And this uh, this gap right here, what I'm gonna end up doing is just put some hydro turf just to kind of hide the ugliness of it. And I need to make sure that this is gonna still open, which I'll probably have to notch it out for the hinge, but that's not gonna be that big of a deal. Might put a little paint on this so it's not so flashy. But uh, that's what I did and uh, I mean, it's not 100% done, but all the hard work's done. Like I said, it won't take me long at all to cut a hole in the top for the latch. And we we'll kind of will be a pain in the butt to drill these rivets back out and then drill a whole bunch of rivets. But I mean, that's nothing very scientific about that or anything. Somebody really wants to watch in a video, I don't think. So I'm going uh, to put a nail in this and consider it done. Well, this thing isn't going to win any type of awards, don't get me wrong. But I think it turned out pretty good for my first time attempting something like this. This basically came out the way that I wanted to in my head. I could have took my time and really tried to get the geometry of everything correct where it could be more of a waterproof gun box slash rod locker. I mean, I, I really didn't want to take that much time with it, to be honest with you. Uh, being my first one, if I ever do one again, I might try to get a little bit more intricate about things. The lid is is kind of ugly, <laughs> I won't lie, but it's going to be hydro turf on the top. And I kind of, the lid on the, the front part, the part that's facing inside of the boat, has about a maybe 
a sixteenth of an inch lip to it. And I kind of like that because it makes it a little bit easier to open and close so you don't have to use the latch when I get the latch. But like I said, man, I think it turned out pretty good. You know, it's nothing as nice if you go somewhere and spend $500 to have them custom make you one. But this, I don't know how much this thing cost me. The, the most expensive part was the, I mean, the aluminum angle that I bought for it. I mean, maybe 50 bucks. You count rivets and them two. I think them twos were like 15 or 16 bucks on Amazon. And you can add a whole lot more of those if you see uh, in the close up of it that you can fit, you know, in the size of the box I got. You could easily double, if not triple, the amount of tubes if you wanted this to just to be primary uh, rod locker. So just keep that in mind. Uh, I want it to be dual purpose. I could have squeezed three in there if I wanted to, but I just figured you no. Know, <laughs> so I, I didn't do it. But like I said, I'm happy with it. I'm, I'm glad it turned out the way it did. And uh, hopefully it'll give you an idea how to do yours. That's, that's my main goal of uh, filming this stuff. Uh, that, another reason why I don't like doing the same boat over and over and over. I mean, I want to learn things. And if I did the same crap over and over and over, it would get boring it you definitely wouldn't want to watch it and i wouldn't want to film it and i wouldn't want to do it unless i was really making buku money on these boats which i'm not like i said hopefully uh give you an idea of how to go about it if you're looking to do one on your boat all right next up is framing the front deck and hopefully it goes well as i would like to frame it and then deck it at the same time and shoot then we can start uh, wrapping this thing up believe it or not uh, not a whole lot left on this boat and everything's really starting to click now i'll be glad for this thing to be done and hopefully on to its new home pretty soon after that all right guys i really appreciate it see you on the next one